Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little haul of some things that I've purchased in the last couple of weeks. Um, I've actually unboxed the stuff just now. I did film another video but I was like, it's rubbish. So I'm going to go through the haul now with you. So, starting with Asda. I love Asda. I have a big Asda in Dunstable but it's not that big. But I love to look around the home stuff and in Milton Keynes they have an Asda and it is about three times the size as our Asda. So I'm basically in my element. Um, me and one of my best friends, Lana, we go there late at night sometimes, 11, 12 at night. And then we get a Starbucks as well at the 24 hour. So we went there the other day and then she started screaming and I said, what's wrong? She was like, Amy, you're going to love this. I was like, you're going to love what? And she was like, look at this. Look at that. How amazing is that? That was £6.50, reduced from £20, and I had to buy it. I even debated buying two to have an A one side and an A the other one, but thought, no, just have one, it'll look good in your videos, and I'm actually loving it right now. And also, Lana is actually in the corner, she's just there. So, hi Lana! And another thing that I bought as well was this cute little rose gold mirror. This was £8 and I just thought it looked so cute on my dressing table. Lovely. The next shop I want to go through with you is Primark. I love Primark but I also hate Primark. It depends on the time of the year and what store I'm in. They either have nothing for me or they have everything. So I popped into Primark the other day and they had quite a few bits that I liked to be honest. Um, so starting with this makeup bag. This makeup bag was £5. And it's quite a big one to be honest and you also get like a mini one inside so if you're travelling it's really handy. Um, what I find hard with all my makeup is that it's all in one box and when I'm trying to find like my regular makeup I'm scrambling through the box trying to find everything and that one mascara amongst ten that's impossible to be quiet. So I've got this to keep the basics in so it's a lot easier for me just to open it for work. Just chuck on some makeup instead of I don't know, putting out a search party for that one mascara, which is a bloody pain. <laughs> so the next thing that I bought from Primark was these hair clips. And I love these, these come in so handy when I'm drying my hair or straightening my hair, just styling my hair in general. And I'm always losing them and turning into hair bands and I just get in such a mess. So these were £1.50 for eight, which I thought was really good. And hopefully I won't lose them because they are actually quite bright. So yeah, that come in handy. Another thing from Primark is toothbrush covers. They were 80p for five and they're quite handy for traveling around and if you're a germ freak. So yeah, I thought these were quite good because I'm going away in April for my birthday. Yay. Next thing is this lovely top. I was so in love with this. I saw it and I saw the daisies on it and I thought, you know what, that's actually lovely. And I thought, oh, how much is it? And I'm not even joking you. Oh, you can't see it. Ah, oh, there it is. £2.50 for this. And I just thought, how cute is that? It looks so nice for some jeans or something like um, a high waisted skirt. I don't know, it's just one of them ones where you could wear it casually or you could actually make it into a nice outfit. So I was quite happy with that. And the next thing is this. This is what they call an emergency hair kit. Now, I need this at work all the time. I'm always losing hairpins, I'm always breaking hair bands. So this is actually for my locker, it was one pound. Get hair bands, hair clips, everything in there, and it's so good, I thought it was so decent for a pound. Like, how could you not? Next thing I think my mum has, so mum, I'm sorry, is just a long sleeve striped t-shirt stretchy one, also warm for the winter, this was £4.50. Next shop is boohoo.com, I love boohoo.com because you get some right bargains on there and I have a parka basically from New Look and ever since I got it, it's the zips broke, the buttons broke, everything's just going wrong because I thought you know what, I'll see what boohoo.com have got in their sale. So it's a black parka, it's also got a fur hood on it. Um, what I don't like about this coat is basically, where's the sleeve? It's called the Megan coat. 
but it's got massive M's on it on the sleeves. And I really like the khaki one, but the M's really stood out, and I was like, mm, black one's not so bad. But I thought it'd be waterproof, and I thought it'd be thicker. But I think this is more of a, more of a jacket that you'd wear in the spring, to be honest with you. So I'm kind of let down about it. I mean, I will wear it. Like it's a nice coat. Don't get me wrong. But it's just it's just not what I expected. And I thought the quality would be better, to be honest. Next thing I got from Boohoo.com, I was so in love with, is this onesie. It's sleeveless, so it's actually comfortable in the night. You're not sweating, and obviously it's got cactuses on it. I love cactuses so much, so it's like my favourite thing. Cactus and onesies in one. I can't complain. Next is Amazon. As I said, I'm going away in April, so I needed a cabin sized suitcase just for the airplane, not for the hold. So I ordered one the other day, and it comes today. I love it. I love leather print, you know. And basically, it comes today, and I was like, wow, that's big. Like, wow, I could bring a lot on the aeroplane, can't I? Measured it. It's too big for the aeroplane. So I thought, oh no, what am I going to do? So, turns out I ordered the wrong one. So, I decided to keep this for Spain, and then I'm going to buy the matching one in the cabin size one when I go to Amsterdam. So, then again, I've gained an extra suitcase that I don't really need, but I do need in the future. So, at least they're matching anyway. I love I love matching things. Next thing from Amazon is these makeup brushes. I just wanted some little ones just for eye makeup because I just don't have a lot. I don't have a lot to blend out with. So these are like pink um, with rose gold. I think they're 12 in a packet. They were like £8. So I thought that was pretty decent. They come in like a sleeve so you can't lose them really. So I thought that was pretty good too. The next website is beautybay.com. Um, I kind of regret going on there now. I went on there to look for a new foundation and I ended up with seven products that none of them was a foundation. So Morph, I've heard really good reviews about Morph and their products. However, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty guided because I ordered um, this contour and highlighter kit and basically it's smashed. So the colours are so nice and everything. So I'm going to send it back. I know Beauty Bay are so decent with with returns and stuff. Like my friend, um, she had a bit of a problem and they were so decent about it and it comes so quick. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem anyway. Next product is by Morph as well. This is the blusher palette. I think it's actually really nice. Um, I only have one shade of blusher at the moment. So it's time that I push the boat out and and vary the colours that I use. I was quite happy with that as well. Next product is by Morph, surprisingly, and this is the eyebrow palette. So obviously you've got your colours here and you've got like your highlighter as well. I normally use the same colour for my eyebrows but my hair sometimes goes light, some of it goes dark and it's nice to actually have a selection so that I have light hair with dark brown eyebrows so it's actually nice to do this and I don't normally use powders much I normally have like it's like a powder but it's not enough powder but it's cheap but I push the boat out a bit like I said so hopefully hopefully it'll be good hopefully I can use that the next thing I was absolutely in love what got me was the packaging as well it's the Shan XO palette it's a lip palette and also an eyeshadow palette if none of you know, this girl is a YouTuber, she does makeup and hair and stuff and beauty and she's stunning. So basically, so it's a nine colour eyeshadow palette at the front. So you open it, these lovely colours, I think that they're stunning. And then the other side you flip it round. And then the lip palette. matched with my warmth wasn't it <laughs> so yeah I thought that was lovely so I can't wait to try that out I got two lipsticks well I got this this is a matte lip cream by Milani in shade loved I thought it was beautiful I do like my nudes and my pinks and the other one I got was a Gerard Cosmetics liquid matte lipstick I love Gerard Cosmetics so much my friend uses them all the time and this is Madison Avenue, which I thought was absolutely stunning. 
like I can't wait to use them. It's a lovely colour. And they dry really well as well. Which is good, it's always a bonus. And the last thing I got is my absolutely favourite. My two friends have got it as well and they tempted me to get it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And if you don't think this is beautiful, then please go to Specsavers. Look at that. Oh, it's so stunning. I literally can't wait to use it. I wanted to use it for this video and I couldn't because I had to unbox it for the video, which you guys can see because it was absolutely fail. But on it, it's velvet. Oh, it's lovely. Anyway, guys, that's everything from my haul video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It'd be great if you could. I just want to get up to 50 by March. That's my little girl. So please like and subscribe, um, and more videos will be along the way. Thank you. Bye.